let us continue playing Phoenix Point. When we last left off, we have done the mission that is here. And so, we have other things we need to do. We still need to find the central base, which is apparently in Central America. Probably over here. The last few places, unless it is far further south. Which I suppose it could be? That is an exploration site. So we have a few missions that we need to be doing. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just explore my way back to base, get some people healed, and then we'll see what happens from there. We're also going to continue our base upgrades here because we now have enough points to actually build a second research lab, which is probably going to be more critical than I gave it credit for initially. So let's head to this unexplored site. And we'll speed time up. Right, explore. Research complete. Okay, we've gained that, so we now know about these guys. Only 3% human, 75% unknown. The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a threat, but a statement. There is still time to look to reason, not superstition, for solutions. To seek answers in human will, instead of submission to the alien. But that time is running out. Yeah, so I was kind of getting this impression that we might not be able to ally with all three factions here. This new Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really. But has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? Worrying possibility? Do we want to step in on this? It is, isn't it? Sometimes I miss the days when such questions were just oh, science God. fiction. But I guess sooner or later the future arrives and then you have to deal with it. Mind fraggers. Funny how that crude name our soldiers came up with stuck. Appropriate, I suppose. These vile creatures personify everything that makes the Pandorans so despicable. They are designed to rob us of our will. Of our humanity. Well, both sides are friendly towards us, and we still have a diplomacy mission we can do here. So I think we might have to do that, if only to try and get them back on side. Um, but yeah, stuff and things happening. Um, research then, we're reverse engineering that. Bonus damage on hatching sentinels, Pandoran evolution, Pandoran colonies. I should really be reverse engineering these if, if I'm absolutely honest about this, but. So that's the Disciples of Anu gun, shotgun that we got there, that we picked up the last mission. Um. We'll add that because eventually we are gonna have to do some more base attacks. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Find out what we're up against. Scavenging mission. Might as well go and do these, and we might as well level you up. It's also, occurring to me that I am really bad at upgrading these um, color systems, even though it's a self-inflicted thing I'm doing. And you as well. Right. So training. We can now go for a secondary class, which may or may not be a good idea at this stage, especially since we don't have stuff. Let's up your speed, up your willpower, and might as well do an extra bonus point of strength for Lord Spire. I also need to name you, which I haven't done yet. Okay. Let's go grab some resources. Because we're definitely going to need these. If we head back to Phoenix Point, we will then restore hit points for a few of our people, then see what we can actually do. Probably that diplomacy mission should be done next, and that might even do that. I guess it all depends on how well this goes. Okay, so we have one of those discovered. Bombs Let's online. go for... Be right there. Yeah, no point in going quick shot here. We'll just take this out. So, headshot. Succeeded. And 
What was our other one? Let's go for a quick aim just in case we can't do it in two sh in one shot. But oh, actually, no, you can't even see it. Hmm. Well, I didn't need to quick aim then. On my way. Hopefully, won't matter. Um. Question becomes, can we destroy it with anybody else? Hopefully we can. All I need is a clear shot. Attack. I'm on the move. Alright, move up. I need one more person to actually hit the Identify thing, so. Target. Okay, no mist and smoke. For you then. Let's head up to there. So we can see most of the stockpile. We got a number of stockpile things here, and I don't know what that's about. Standing by. Well, let's jump back up and see what it's about. No idea, but there's another one over there. We might be flying around the map in a little way. bit and seeing what happens if we can get those. Or even what it's doing for us. Right, stand by, stand by. Um, you haven't made a move yet, so we'll get you up and put you on Overwatch. Holding position. And we'll stand by everybody else for the moment. <laughs> Not our materials, we need those. No Pandora and Point over here as well. So we've got four shielded people at this point by the look of it. Alright. Cover you with an overwatch. Ready for action. Yes. Jump across, move in, and be prepared. Let's run our snipers up. It might even be a better idea to run you up and see if we can get you to that point instead. Uh, did we spot a new one? No, I think they were the ones we already kind of were aware of. Um, out of ammo reload. Okay. Okay, so we have another shot if we want to take it. Seems like a far too long shot to really have a go at, even though that is kind of the point of a sniper. Um, so Sprinting. we're just going to position and wait up next turn. Also, you're the wrong clearance colour, again. It's almost if they don't care about Alpha Complex protocols in this um, darn project. That might be a mistake. Okay, got away with it. And let's set up a second Overwatch in this direction. Providing Overwatch. Yeah, I should have put that much closer. 
because that wasn't re really ever going to be a problem. Meanwhile, we're about to lose one of our crates. Thankfully, the materials is the one we have the most of. It's for tech and food ones we probably want to start saving. Okay, a little bit of damage. And what are you up to? Well, you're just going to stand on a box. Nope, you're going to get off the box. And boy shield. Okay. There's a few of these we've got to fight through then. In fact, we see six. Zooming in. Hopefully that's not helpful. Um On my way. Move you round there, because then I think you can bypass the shield. Definitely that one. Definitely that's the target we want to go for. Okay. Well, wasn't ideally what I wanted, but... So close! Yep, that was not good. Alright. Standing by. All I need is a clear shot. Well... This is as good a clear shot as you're going to get. Alright, one down. So we can move up there and get shot at. All in the name of whatever this mess actually does for us. Stand by. Okay. On my way. Uh, let's have a go at taking out, if not the arm, the enemy down. Oh no, we got him. Okay, fine. Lethal shot to the arm. Perfect. I guess put a pistol watch up here. Right, so you can't actually target any of the remaining ones, but if we move you to there, you can have a go at one. I mean, seems unlikely. But getting some viral damage can't have hurt. So we'll be firing a lot of shots. Just put a generous Overwatch cover up. Got a bit of damage in. Shielded. You're virused up. The question is, how badly do you want to try and get over there? Well, you're easily enough shot in the leg, and the one behind is open and exposed to us, so have a go. Good shot. Should have gone a quick shot though and got two. All set. That's on me. Right. Up you go. Taking aim. So we can definitely kill this one or we can have a go at killing this one. Fortunately the cover's worse for it, so 
threat eliminated. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna grab Advance. this. Okay, but well we'll grab that next turn. So only one movement point left, we can put a pistol up. Zooming in. I mean it'd be a very long shot, but Okay, that felt it felt like it was worth a go. Meanwhile then, let's quick aim. So we disable his arm. He is bleeding to death and panicking, so hopefully that now means that if we go and take the shot at you. Hostile neutralized. We have two panicking soldiers now, so I'm gonna take this as my op my chance, get into position. And we're going to see what's in those point. What getting to this third point does, if it in fact does anything. Because I'm not going to try this again going forward, but. No, so you bled to death. You are panicking. Five by five. I can't quite get to the weapons great, but let's get there anyway. I mean, I don't know what that has done, but there are points marked on the map. So, dunno. All set. Alright, well, we might as well grab the inventory here. Because inventory is always good. You can't make it far enough. You I'm here. could. Yeah, there we go. Oh, damage the machine gun didn't actually do any significant damage. Um, so we can't do too much with this other than just put a Overwatch up, I guess. You, it doesn't seem as if you can move close enough to get to them at this point. I suppose we could always just wait. I don't see what he can do to us here, so we're just going to position some generous overwatches that allow him to try things. Providing and we'll see if he does set. You are dying! He tried things. We did damage our crate, but we did get everything we wanted from that, so... Nope, I don't know what, if any, benefit we got to that. I am playing blind, some, and these won't be uploaded until I've done about eight or nine episodes, so I might figure it out in that time. But if somebody could work out what the heck those are actually for, or if I'm just doing them for the sake of it at this stage. Still... Maybe it's giving me more stuff here. I don't know. Either way, good amount of resources come back. So let's go and head back. We have a ground vehicle available. Hooray! The cult of Steve has finally turned up. Okay, we also have seven. Yep. So I'm assuming now if I go into personnel, we have the option of adding in that into the manticore so okay manticore doesn't have enough space for everybody so we can now prioritize and since we have a sniper who's permanently gonna have to wait until we get things anyway let's put you into phoenix point and let's then put the vehicle
Have I built this literally for nothing? That's what I'm worrying about now. Um, how many points does you do you take? I have built this for nothing, haven't I? So okay, Steve, we will find a way to make this work. Let's in fact transfer every Phoenix point for the time being. So now, how many people can we move with this if we wanted to? Three. Okay. So we can take a Steve and three soldiers. Might be worth it on some things, but we shall see. Okay. Let's let time spin on for a little bit. Owning grenades are being completed. We also should probably do this mission first, because I've just realised it's going to get into the mist, and that could be bad for us, depending on things. So... The good news is we have number of, we have soldiers who are ready, so let's transfer Shuffle Bottom in, but also let's actually give her the correct suit of armor for her clearance level. So one sniper, one trooper, and we would like to put the heavy back in, I suppose. Yes, in as well. All right. Sorry, I was thinking about some bits and pieces there. Um, okay, with those then readied up, let's just see what we can actually do with this. So we're going with our own equipment for the most part here, which is fine. We'll save the rest of it. Not risking all of our soldiers. We are risking a Steve. Let's head on out. So, cryogenics laboratory, science mentioned in his notes. Government facility, possibly a black site of some kind. Base for a group of raiders. Okay. So, raiders versus Steve. This had better be worth it. I spent all of my early game building this thing. If it dies, I will be massively upset. But it will also be very amusing. Okay. Say hello to Steve. Steve has found some things. Steve is going to throw a rocket at it now. Okay, Steve is worth it. <laughs> Ready for action. Yeah, that's kind of um, insane. All right. All I need is a clear shot. Uh, we probably want to be firing with the other gun here, also. Also, yeah, we can't quite do that. All right, fine. Um, On my way. We're only getting one shot anyway, so we'll just have to go. This is not a great shot. Hostile mist. All right, pistol. Watch them. I imagine that the tank is going to attract some attention, but um. <laughs> okay. This is massively more amusing than it should be. Zooming in. Alright, we'll head this way because I think we can possibly get both. We have blown up all the terrain that is in the way. Let's get moving. I don't think you're going to be going very far left. You're bleeding to death. What was that explosion? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, how many shots has Steve got here? He's got another four shots. 
Well, he's not a free shot, which I think is fair. Wow's big's the range on them. Exactly that big. Okay, so the aiming's not perfect, but then we don't expect Cult of Steve members to have perfect aim. We expect them to just be able to blast be things. Right Alright, one spotted. Alright, let's just keep an overwatch up, because I imagine that they are going to attempt to suit our tank. And we have opinions about people trying to shoot our tanks. Let's go for a jump position here and just see if we can work out Using. a better position for you. We fly through the air with the greatest of ease. Repositioning. I got a visual. Okay, that's useful. Also, the equipment's there as well, which is nice. All right, so we can move up to. We have to here and have a sniping attack, or we can move to there and do the same, which seems a much more sensible prospect. I have to use a quick aim, unfortunately, but still. Zooming in. Yeah, let's give it a go. Well, you blew up the top of that tree. Well done. Action. Opening fire. And that's how you do it. Do this. So he's retreated. I assume they were heavy weapons. They might not be actually, come to think of it. Okay, well I can't do too much this turn anyway, so let's hold off on you. The rest aren't that bunched up, but what I could probably do is throw some missiles at you. Hopefully, killing... Uh, I don't know, do we, need to, do we even care about the Overwatch here at this stage? We have one more quick aim. We won't have two, so we're going to have to Overwatch the second one. All I need is a clear shot. Don't have it particularly. Right, keep an overwatch up. I'll put an overwatch up in this direction here. By. You can go for a long range counter fire, but I'm not sure this is necessarily a good thing for us, especially if our gun doesn't do that much damage to them. Hmm. Good news is they've got they're basically done the very intelligent thing of surrounding themselves with explosives. That also did not kill the Overwatch. So, Steve says hi. Steve will also be moving back now because he doesn't like you. Here we go. We go. Hmm. So who can see him? Comes online. Okay, so we can't actually see him, which is annoying because he's on Overwatch. Um, Comes online. Okay, we'll hold position there. 
will hold an, a counter watch, even though we're doing less damage. I mean, Steve doesn't have any reloads, so he's got one more missile left. But are you going to tell him he can't use it? Are you going to be the person who tells Steve he's not allowed to fire his weapon of doom and destruction? Comes online. Reposition. Zooming in. Let's try for the headshot. Good to know. There's another one over here, of course. We also have this, which I don't know what that is, but we might want to try and get there. Depends. I'm, I might be mistaking the fact that they're heavy weapons. It might just be what they have. They seem well defended. That's obviously the data we need to find, so... We're going to save Steve, Steve's missile attack in case we need another one. He's currently dying. Unfortunately, he is very much undercover. And Steve makes such a good target. Yeah, 108. They're heavies. That eliminates any doubt there. Repositioning. All I need is a clear shot. Well, you pretty much have a clear shot here. You missed anyway. But you took out the wall panel behind them, and that's clearly threatening enough. Enemy down. Ready for action. Okay. So we know he's Overwatch, and we know he's seeing through the vehicle. Let's see if we can use what we know no to, to avoid. And avoid. Steve, we're holding off on. Enter. Yeah, my turn. Yeah, he does not want right to move. There. I mean, we could have a go at the shot, but that doesn't seem a great option. Um, you... I'm almost tempted to go equipment scavenging for this turn. On my way. Independent machine gun magazine. Okay, fine. Not great. If it was a gun, that might be worth it. Um, okay. Reposition. So I guess the worry is that there's another one we haven't found yet, but we've already taken out quite a few targets at this stage. Stand by. Stand by Overwatch. Um, let's move you up to there. And do the same. And we don't care where you're moving from. We're going to try the Overwatch anyway. Covering. Steve. Um, we might attack with Steve in a moment. But in the meantime, have fun destroying terrain. Oh, we love Steve. Here we come. Double attack. Okay, so the fact they're in a building with a ceiling might make our missiles attack less useful. The good news, though, is that we can use a couple of willpower boosts here and potentially get ourselves that data.
<laughs> Be right there. We're on full hit points here. Let's let's see what we can do. Comes online. You can't see them either, so let's put an Overwatch up as well. Covering. And let's move a distraction into the way. We'll avoid throwing missiles for the time being. But at least we've got someone who's partially covering things. Here we go. Okay. So he's not... He is in Overwatch again. This guy does not... This guy is cautious. We can appreciate that. It's annoying, but we can appreciate that. Providing Overwatch. The good news is, we know how Overwatch works. It's from a direction. So... We can, in theory... Do something that looks a little like this. Raw for the giant rock. What is... Oh, god damn it. We can't actually see him from there. Perfect. I'm getting more and more tempted to just fire Steve off here, but um, we'll hold off. You're on standby. Actually, we know the Overwatch Covering. is from that direction, so... Ready to rumble. Arms online. Providing Overwatch. This is the tactical play going on here. But I do have Steve! I can just end this. On my way. Alright, I'm repositioning slightly because I'm hoping that's gonna give him a slightly better angle for this, and we know this kinda of worked last time. Covering. Steve is sad he can no longer explode things. Alright, there we go. Damage done. Also. Ambush. Plus return fire. Alright, he's dead. He dies on this turn. Right. Yeah, he dies now. Be right there. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, Steve has... Apparently, Steve can gain experience. I wonder if we can give him an AI. Oh, please say we can give him an AI. Please say we can give him an AI. I'm hoping this game has things, but we'll see. The good news is... Uh, vi viral samples that were stored here. They're in this ideal shape. Some version of the Pandora virus. Rigorous analysis might be initiated immediately. In the 1960s, the Phoenix Project clashed with an unknown intelligence outfit associated with the CIA. One of these clashes concerned the cultures stored in this lab, said to be responsible for a terrible plague somewhere in what was then called the Third World. At the time of his death, my great-grandfather was trying to force the CIA to at least share some samples, but they denied everything, even the existence of this lab. It looks like the research was abandoned in the late 1970s. I'm not sure why. The samples are degraded, but if my analysis is correct, this is the Pandora virus. Sometimes I wonder whether the only reason we survived as a species is sheer luck. I do like sheer luck in terms of trying to keep people alive. That is very true. Okay. But we got that secured. And 
there are various stuff and things that we can try and do now. So, what I think now is we're going to go back to the base, we're going to shuffle out our soldiers, and then we're going to see about what we want to be doing next. Because this area is expanding inwards. And we definitely don't like that. We probably want to set up some area scans, get these areas sorted out first as well. So I think the next priority is going to be get as much information on the board as we possibly can. Once that second research lab is built, get things done from that. We actually can upgrade the base again, can't we? So let's get a second... Oh, what are we going to do here? Second fabrication plant actually would be quite useful. And then we'll save one in case something happens. Now in theory that's taken up our consumption to 20, so maybe we can't do anything else with this because of that. Maybe we can buy an upgrade to the, pa the power generator? I don't know. But we'll have to consider that as we go. Alright. Next time then, we'll probably do the diplomacy mission. We'll probably start an area scan up here. And we'll probably start looking at some of these bases or possible base locations. Trying to find this darn extra Phoenix Point base. It's probably going to be down here. Central America being Central America and all. Which means I probably should have done the area scan down there. But it doesn't matter. Well, this is not an optimal playthrough. This is the first playthrough. I'm just doing things suboptimally because it'll annoy you. Until next time then, folks.